The primary purpose of Innovative AAC Solutions, the podcast, is to educate and inform. The views expressed during all episodes are solely those of the individuals involved and do not constitute educational or medical advice. They are not necessarily the views of Special School District of St. Louis County. Knock, knock. I'm sure you're all on the other side of this saying, who's there? Abe. Abe who? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. (laughs) That's our joke for today. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. My name is Laura Hayes, and this is another episode of Innovative AAC Solutions, the podcast. And this season is all about literacy. So that is just a quick jumpstart joke. Uh, that you can use throughout your day. I think it makes me smile. Make someone else smile. Tell it. Give it away. Pretend like it's your own. Don't, don't even tell me you heard it here. Uh, this episode, though, we're we're really kind of getting to the end of this season. I hope that you have learned so much. Uh, it has been a joy kind of sharing the, the interviews and the mini episode resources with you guys. This episode is another one that's jam-packed that could be creatively used for almost any student across ages and abilities. And so there is a a free website that we're going to talk about. And then we are going to talk about uh, magnetic letters and how we can embed language and literacy in a fun visual scene with magnetic letters, knowing that you could also adapt this to any cookie sheet, any scene, anything that might be motivating for your students, again, on any age level or ability. So without further ado, let's dive into mini episode 14 and all the resources that I have to share. Enjoy. This week's resource that we're going to talk about is Reading Bear. This website, I'll spell it out for you. It is R-E-A-D-I-N-G-B-E-A-R dot org, O-R-G. So readingbear.org. And readingbear.org is a great resource, especially for both emergent and conventional learners. It breaks it down into lessons. So if you scroll through that homepage, you'll see all the sounds broken down, including short vowels, C and K, blends, adding S, diagraphs, two syllables, long vowel sounds, vocalic R sounds, long E, all that good stuff. So it kind of moves, it has that progression as you move down the page. When you click on the sound, we're going to start with short A for our example. It gives you an entire lesson plan. So you basically click on it and it presents it to the classroom or the student that you're working with. So it breaks it down by sound it out slowly, sound it out quickly, let me sound it out, audio flashcards, silent flashcards, audio sentences, and silent sentences. So let's just run through one together. So you'll see that if you're watching this, that it has the sounds and blends them together. It segments them out and then blends them back together. I forgot to record or share the recording of the screen, but just so you know, um, it has a video of someone saying the word like map and then shows a picture of a map. And then it says it in a sentence, this is a map of the United States and shows you in context what that can look like. And then, as, and then as you progress forward, it's going to give you those same words with different consonants and beginning sounds. So the focus is really on short A, and it allows you, if you go if you go out and come back, it says, do you want to s- start where you left off last time? So again, if you have to stop abruptly, or if you want to just kind of build some capacity there throughout the, throughout the day, throughout um, your cycle's approach for learning the sound, in target for that A, you have that option. Um, it also has, if you're a little bit more advanced, it has the ability to take a quiz on short A. 
So what I I do like that it has a picture that is a pretty good real image of what it's asking you to identify. I don't love that it doesn't have the ability right on the page to uh, present it for someone with a more complex um, visual need. So I wish it were, you know, like some of our other software programs do like Clicker, Choose It Maker have the ability to voice it for you. So we have our options though, Reg, Dad, Jazz, and Gas. And then it gives feedback. Okay. So it does offer all of the sounds. It's a pretty straightforward lesson support in addition to some of the other resources we've talked about so far in this season. And it offers training videos and getting started videos. So if you were to give this to another staff member, they would you could give them that and kind of get them started. Um, so definitely check out this. It was been around um, updated last in 2023 from St. Charles Place Education Foundation, and it is a reading bear. So um, we like it. It's a great supplement. Definitely check it out. We're back again for another innovative activity, and this week we have magnetic fun with letters. I know you guys know all about the power of magnets and visual scenes and how we can utilize them to target language and just interactiveness for our students, but I wanted to highlight this one in regards to literacy because I really think that it is super powerful. It's easy to store. It's a folding playboard. It comes with 88 letter magnets and then a reusable storage pouch for your letters. And then if you look closely, it has some duplicate letters, which is always handy when we're doing manipulation or two syllable words. Um, you can see that the letters are uppercase and lowercase, which again, we love to see it. And then you have some letters that are even blank, so you could add to them. So like this person added a V. Um, you can also, if you have like a, if you go to a dollar store or Hobby Lobby, you should be able to cut tape out and you can actually, if you cut uh, magnetic tape, you can dry erase on magnetic tape. So you could cut additional, that's a hot tip. You can cut additional letters that you could dry erase or even put permanent marker on if these are not enough for you in your classroom. Um, but that's something I've done and it works really, really well. So once we have these letters, the letters that we want and need to manipulate, we can open our board and you can see there's a, two chalkboards. Mr. Bear and Mr. Owl are helping us along the way. And it has some example shapes. It has some example words that we might explore. So everything from mom to duck to clown to house, all that good stuff. Um, so we can work on different sounds of and writing activities within this. We can work on word manipulation um, if we had something like at right everybody's seen this probably but if we have at on our board we can use our device to talk through that as well on our phonics keyboard and then we can add the k sound to the front we can talk about blending that sound blending we can swap it out and we can put an m we can just leave the m by itself we can put the m up here one of the things that i love about this is because it has three lines we could even do a little review or recap from the week so if you've gone through um letters a b c d you can go back and do re review those sounds right or we can do a little bit of review of okay which sound are we on now um and then start to blend them and do some of those other sequencing phonological awareness activities that you might you might be already targeting just kind of in a new 
fun way. It's also, again, a great opportunity to do some independent writing where they can either pull a letter out or they can use their alternative keyboard, their alternative pencil using their keyboard on their device, and they can sound out words and make a little bit of a story here. You can either have them kind of do some copying of the letters up here, or you could just let them do some actual independent writing and then give them feedback on that. So lots of opportunities with magnetic letters. You can see they also gave the example of doing almost like a little, uh, not scrap, yeah, scrabble, where we're putting, okay, boy, b, 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 boy. Okay, now we could go over here and do b, b, bear. And just playing with sounds, playing with sounds, with playing with words, playing with magnetic letters. Please check this out or create your own. It does not have to be this exact one. This one is created by Smithport, Smithport. Um, and we will link it in the show notes. But like I said, you don't have to grit some magnetic tape and use a dry erase board and, and go to town, like make your own magnetic letters. And you can use a cookie sheet or um, a visual scene to, to create a story about that visual scene that can be interchanged on that magnetic sheet. There are so many opportunities with magnetic letters and also language opportunities and shared literacy and writing opportunities. Like the, there's so much power here. So definitely check it out or create your own and let us know what you use to create your own or like I said, just go to your dollar store, grab a cookie sheet, create some visual overlays and some magnetic tape, uh, and you should be good to go. Enjoy.